How did you do that? Whoa! Holy oh, shit! Oh boy! All you have to do is ask. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Some of you out there might feel that this is a basic tutorial, but I have been getting crazy requests to do a tutorial on cropping videos and photos. So you know I had to bring it to my Pinnacle peeps. Let's get into it. Alright, so I got a video in the timeline of the Chicago skyline. Big up to Chi-Town and all the Chicagoans out there. And then I also got a clip in the timeline of a photo. So we're going to start off with the video. I'm going to right click on this video. And I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. Now, stay in the Effects tab and then go to 2D, 3D. When you click on that, you see some choices and you might think you want to go to crop. But as you can see, when I highlight crop, it keeps all that black stuff around it. And there's no way to really get rid of all of that nasty black border. So what you want to do is you want to go to 2D Editor Advanced. When you click on that, it puts your clip up into the corner like it's in timeout. So we got to get it out of timeout. Go to uh, select preset and change it from default to no preset. Once you do that, you'll notice there's a setting down here for cropping. If I click on cropping, let's just say I wanted to get rid of all of this sky on the left. And let's say there was a dude down here dancing and I didn't want him in my video. He was some jerk who just jumped in my video when I was doing it. I don't know. Let's say that's the case. So first thing I want to do is crop out the bottom. Get him out of there. So he's gone now. And then I want to crop out the left because I want to get some of this sky out of the left hand side. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to position my video where I think it needs to go. Now, I want to move it to the left some. So I want to move the horizontal over to the left. And I'm going to try to get it about in the middle horizontally. And that's all right for right now. Let me just change this to like negative 12. And that's okay. And then the vertical, I want to move that down about in the middle somewhere. And I think that's good. Now, I got the same problem right now that I had with the crop effect. I got black border around here. But I'm going to show you how to get rid of that. Go to size. When you go to size, you leave the lock on here. Don't take the lock off. And then just drag either one, the vertical or the horizontal, to the right. And it'll fill up the space. Now, if you notice that it's already filling up the top, now I can move the vertical down a little bit more. And I can pull it out some more to size it up. And now, let me even move it horizontally a little bit here. Let me size it up a little bit more. And voila, it is cropped. And now it is actually fitting my video. No black border around it. So I can click OK. And now it is cropped how I want it. This will work with whatever you're doing. It doesn't matter. You just got to make it fit the way you want it to fit. Let's get to that photo. So now I'm going to right click on the photo. And I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. And this is done totally different. With photos, you can actually go to the corrections tab. And there is a setting under corrections called crop. If you click on crop, let's say what it's usually defaulted to is aspect ratio none. So I changed it back to aspect ratio none. And what you'll do is you just grab your points. And you crop it how you want it. Now you can't grab this bottom one. So what you need to do is put your cursor somewhere in the uh, designated area for the photo. Left click, hold it down and drag it up a little bit. And now you can grab that point. But keep in mind, if I click on apply right now, you'll see. 
just that. Now, what happens is all of this on the side is going to be black. So let me click OK and show you that the sides are black. Now, we're, I'm going to show you how to make sure that doesn't happen. So I'm going to go back to Open Effects Editor. I'm going to go back to Corrections. And back to Crop. And when I do that, it's going to bring up the original photo. So that's a good thing, right? Yes, it is. So now what I want to do is change my aspect ratio so that it fits everything. There's no black bars. So my video is NTSC 16 by 9. So I'm going to go to 16 by 9 square pixels. When I do that, it's going to mess up my cropping a little bit. So let's click on that. And you see it's 16 by 9 now. And if I were to drag something on here, it's going to stay with the 16 by 9 ratio. It's even going to go up or down to make it stay at 16 by 9. I could have did that at the beginning, but I wanted to show off a little bit. You know me. You know I like to show off. So I just position it how I want. Make sure that what I want is centered in this box in the middle. I think that's pretty good. So now I can click apply. Or I can just click OK if I wanted to. But I'll click apply to give it a preview. Make sure it's how I like it. Now I'm going to click OK. And you'll see now it's going to fill in the whole preview window. And it has been cropped down to the size I want. That's it. It's a wrap. The video cropping tutorial. From your boy Pinnacle Studio Pro. Now, you guys know the routine. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it. Hug it. Show the thumb some love. Comments. Leave me your comments, all right? If you leave me a comment, I'll get back to you. If you need help, I'll try to help you out. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help you need. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe, baby. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.